Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, happy Monday to you all. Hopefully, you enjoyed your weekend. This is a very interesting release because I didn't know this was happening today. Before Stella dropped a video for their B side off their most recent EP titled Chuggles Dream. Now, this was part of the album that had Snow Globe on it, which we checked out roughly two weeks ago, whenever that dropped. Um, I didn't end up having enough time to listen through to the album, but Chuggles Dream was one of the songs on that album that I never got around to listening to, so it kind of worked out in my favor in that regards. So, we're just gonna watch the MV, take in the music, the usual nine yards when it comes to brand new music here, and yeah, just the usual. I'm very excited for it, because I love Forstel. I love a little bit of crossover music one time, so let's check it out. DJ, roll the intro. No captions, but that is okay. Chuggles dream. Let's see what I've been missing out on. Here we go. Oh, yep, the beat interactive. Y'all are lucky I tune it down in post because that is so loud. So both Snow Globe and Chuggles Dream are in three. This, this is, again, a song in three, but it's it doesn't have that ballroom sensation from Snow Globe at all. Oh. Oh, cut the instrumental way back here. What's interesting is I don't actually know where the chorus is because it's not very clear the way the song builds, it just kind of continues to grow. The unison harmony. And then break it off here. Grow it. Let it grow. I love that the strings just gotta take the reins, just let it go. Octaves, octaves. Very gentle timpani roll, cymbal roll. I like that Wooden's allowed to kind of show off the higher range vocals a little bit. He's got such a thick high tone. Well, high tone. High for him. I 
I think because of it, the core sounds a little bit brighter because it doesn't have that kind of typical low rumbling wooden bass part. Oh, interesting. It's one of those that fades out. I thought there would be like a definitive ending to that. Man. They must be so cool to watch live. Or to experience live. What was it? Um, White Knight, right? White Knight was the song that had, the MV was like a live clip from a performance. It just looks so cool. But like, if there's ever an opportunity to experience Forstall live, I would love to be able to do it. In fact, if I ever got to hear Utopia live, I think I would just pass away on the spot. Utopia still to this day. Up there for me when it comes to Forstall songs, but... There's something about Chug All's Dream that's very charming for me. And I can't pinpoint what it is. I think, I said it was a song written in 3. It might be a song that's written in 12-8. Just one of those weird time signatures where you can interpret in either 3 or in 4. And it kind of works out in the end. Because it can be a really quick 3. Or it can be a medium pace 4. Except each measure is kind of broken up into 3. And there's... A few different ways you can go about breaking up 12-8 in sheet music, sheet music form, but I think that's also part of the reason why it doesn't feel as waltzy as Snow Globe did. Like, Snow Globe very much felt like a ballroom piece to me. Chagall's Dream does not give me that impression, even though it is a song that predominantly relies on that triplet meter. And because of it, it does have that kind of, like, rocking motion to it, but there's a certain part in... It must be like the second chorus or after the second instrumental break where it loses a lot of that triplet characteristic. It's still there, but it's like the, that is no longer the dominant beat anymore. And it becomes a triplet meter song that's interwoven into a, into a standard like common time song. And that transition was so seamless. So I didn't feel it happen. I was, I mean, I was too busy enjoying the song to really notice, and that's probably one of the reasons why that's happened. But I was just kind of like going along with the flow, and all of a sudden, it's like, boom, we're not exactly a hundred percent in three anymore, but we aren't in four yet, and it's that weird like in between period. And because of it, I think that final chorus also has a slightly different listening experience. But I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, it's a four stella song. We get the classic, impressive vocals. I feel like whenever there's a four stella song where the tenors in the group kind of tone it back a notch, especially or when the tenors take it back a notch in either power or kind of go with like a little bit of a delicateness to it instead of like. Hyung Ho's really good at doing that rock sound, but that rock voice isn't exactly appropriate for a song of this nature. So to hear both Ming Yu and Hyung Ho really just kind of take that grit and the roughness out of their voice and really lean into that classical side of things, I think really shows off like just how much range that Four Stellar are capable of. And that's just two members, right? Like Doohoo and you listen. I think Doohoo's voice is extremely flexible. Like, there is not a single song where his voice doesn't fit. I think his voice is so flexible and is so universally, like, fitting. And I don't know how he does it. His voice is amazing. And then to hear Woodim kind of... It's, I associate Woodim with, like, the earth-shattering low notes. So to hear him kind of creep up the vocal scale a little bit, 
and provide a little bit more of like a baritone. I think, is he technically considered a baritone? I always forget that, but like low end tenor where he kind of gets up a little bit in his vocal scale. It adds a little bit of power into his voice and it really showcases just how thick his voice is once he gets into that higher range. And that's not a vocal range that you often hear from Pudding. That's very cool. And that's honestly just a very pleasant listening experience for me. Like, I have no complaints about that whatsoever. And, yeah, I mean, it's a four-stellar release. I was going to like it anyways. Did I like it? Oh, absolutely. I love a song that's in three. I love a good amount of vocals. I love some strings. And I love it when a song gets my brain gears going, especially the musical gears going. So, highly approve of that one. But... That is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today is work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Or whether it be you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street just to ruin a small act of kindness to me, brand up someone else's day to day. Know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, and know that I will always be a friend and ally and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.